I apologize for calling the two of you in on an off-duty day. Princess Cordelia has graciously extended banquet invitations to the three of us. It seems you two will be recognized for your successes at Vassal and more recent ops. Yeah. So much for my plans to go bird watching tomorrow. What are you, crazy? Do you have any clue how rare a chance to meet the princess is? Just don't forget to wear dress uniforms, gentlemen. Sorry to keep you, Captain. Wow, Welkin. No grass stains or anything. Hey, don't you all look nice. Good evening, Miss Ellet. Here to cover the banquet tonight? I smell a plan to sign up an alliance between Gallia and the Federation at work here. But Gallia's national policy has always been to shun alliances and remain neutral. I figure it's mostly the idea of Prime Minister Borg, Princess Cordelia's regent. With all due respect, the princess isn't much more than a mouthpiece for his policies now. Ugh. We're about to attend a banquet, and now I've gone and lost my appetite. It's about time to enter. Let's go. Honored ladies and gentlemen, if I may, I appear before you today at the peak of joy. For now, two great powers join together. Galia and the Federation pledge their allegiance as we seek to build together an eternal peace for Europa. Know this. The honor of dear Galia, in fact her very freedom, is currently under attack and hangs by the thinnest thread you can imagine. But... While Princess Cordelia remains on the throne, she who is the scion of the Valkyra's ancient blood promise, no force on this earth will ever see this nation defeated. With bountiful stores of Ragnite and your strategic position between East and West, you've become the foundation of Europa. In this time of peril, the foundation is grateful and happily joins hands in crushing the Imperial threat before us. And then we shall unify Europa and govern under our great banners. All of Europa. Well, there's something we haven't heard before. We're not fighting this war so we can invade another country. Now, my friend, let us put an end to all these formalities and raise a glass to honor this historic alliance. Yes, a toast to the shining future that awaits. Cheers! Cheers! <sighs> I'm glad that's over. Oh! I, I'm so terribly sorry. Are you all right, Your Highness? I am unharmed. <sighs> Your Highness, are you really in support of an alliance with the Federation? Lieutenant Gunther, have you lost your mind? I am still young. All political matters are handled by my regent, Borg. The protection of Gallia and of the Valkyrian bloodline is my fated onus. Their protection does not require my personal feelings. I bid you once more, good night. Do you copy? It's me. The mark is alone. Now is our chance. Oh, hello, Leon. Chris? Wait, let me guess. Are you building this airplane, Isara? I'm working from documents my father collected before his death. So where are you flying to once it's all done? Going on a trans tour, maybe? First, I'd like to take my brother up in it. Once, when we were young, he and I were out bird-watching when he mentioned it. That he wished he could fly like they did. That's... that's the emergency siren. Let's ready the Edelweiss. I'm sure that whatever it is, it's urgent. Barat! Terrible news! Princess Cordelia's been kidnapped! Kidnapped? It can't be! Yes! It was that Federation ambassador! 
a spy all along. So the Federation takes her under their protection, and Galia along with her. Understood. Lieutenant, gather your squad immediately. Yes, Captain. We have an emergency on our hands. Princess Cordelia has been kidnapped by Federation operatives. The armored vehicle carrying the Princess is headed for the port at the southern end of the combat area. Your objective is to disable the vehicle's engine and rescue Princess Cordelia. We've also got word that Federation Special Forces have been sighted in the area. They'll be protecting the vehicle. They may be wearing Galleon uniforms, but they're real feds. Don't think twice about pulling those triggers. Your mission is to rescue Her Highness unharmed. Failure isn't an option on this one, soldiers. They can't get to the harbor. We stop them here. Squad 7, move out. To the harbor, full steam. The ship's waiting there to take us out of Galia. Apologies for the cramped quarters, your highness. We'll have you comfortable soon. <sighs> Lieutenant. It's likely the Ambassador has the Princess with him inside that armored vehicle. Use firearms to stop it with minimal force, then recover the Princess. Don't lose them. Tank shells, anti-tank lances, and grenades are off-limits. You could harm the Princess. Understood, Captain. Welks, even if we can't attack with it, the Edelweiss can still block their path. Yeah, on a narrow road like this, there's no room to slip past a tank in your way. Sounds like a plan. Let's get the princess back safe. Headlights? You're right. We can use those lights to tell its position and orientation. Try the way open by force. All troops advance. Sighted. Moving out. Please advance with caution. Try to stay sharp. Let's all get back home alive. Vehicle sighted. What are you doing? Don't stop. Go! Go! Gallian tank sighted ahead, sir. It's blocking the road completely. Clever little monkeys. Very well. We'll take another route. That tank. That's a militia model.
in combat. Rest easy, Mom. I'm coming home alive. Moving out. In again, they're testing my patience. Incoming relay, sir. The tank in our way has been identified as Militia Squad 7. <sighs> the ones who attended the banquet, just our luck to be spotted by glory hounds. Squad 7, that officer from the banquet. Ambassador, the vehicle's taking damage. It won't last long at this rate, sir. Make it last long enough. It just needs to get us to that harbor. As soon as the princess is on Federation land, we'll own this little country. The vehicle's taking heavy damage. It won't be long now. My turn, okay? Operation complete. Let's get her highness out of there. Your highness, are you all right? I am unharmed. Oh, good. Being princess ain't all fancy dinners, huh? Gotta be hard carrying a whole country. A scion of the Valkyrer. It is my fate to live and die for Gallia's well-being. Are you sure that isn't just your excuse, Your Highness? What? If you label the status quo fate, you can run from the responsibility of changing it. Your Highness may be descended from Valkyra, and that may carry a burden. But I hope that you won't throw away the will to live your own life because of them. That's enough, Welkin. Give it a rest. Perhaps it is as you say. And I have been running from responsibility unknowingly. I am most envious of your ability to speak your mind so frankly. Uh, I... I am. Alicia, have we got anything to eat? You bet. I brought some of the cinnamon rolls I baked this morning. Thank you kindly. I have not had such bread before, but it is quite agreeable. <laughs> I'm glad. And so Princess Cordelia returned, safe through the efforts of Militia Squad 7. Its leader, Welkin Gunther, 
was celebrated as rescuer to the nation's sovereign and awarded the prestigious Gallian Medal of Honor. Congratulations, Lieutenant Gunther. Thank you, Your Highness. Though I have yet to reach an answer, your question drives me still. To understand my responsibility as sovereign and as a single human life. Lieutenant Gunther, I hope your allegiance to Gallia stands firm evermore. Yes, Princess. Lieutenant Gunther, I am sorry. There is something more I have not told you. Please, be safe. Ooh, is that it? Not bad, man. You sure made a name for yourself this time. It was pure luck I was there. So have you seen the headlines? The ones that say nothing about the kidnapping? That reporter tells me Borg's the one pressuring the media into suppressing it. But why suppress it? We've got our hands full fending off the Empire. We can't afford a war on two fronts. Well, can this hurts? It's painfully obvious how shaky Gallia's standing is. Both of us know the weak bow to the strong. It's history and it's nature. Welkin, no offense, but I hope nature's wrong this time. <laughs>